Take your mind back to the year 1976. Punk's about to happen, but where did it come from? Did it just come out of nowhere, or was there a path that you could follow? Well, let's let's go right back to the start. A lot of the stuff about punk is the fact it was DIY, do it yourself. Instead of having like big stages and lots of people and costumes and needing to have makeup and elaborate sets, it was back to basics. Now that had already started in Britain, in London especially, with the pub rock scene. That was like a do it yourself way to get bands in front of people and it worked. It was like the liveliest scene I think we've ever seen in the UK. If you before I go any further, if you like this, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think, because I really do want to know. I'm not just saying that. So please comment, like if you like it, and um, subscribe. Let's take a moment to think back. If you go back to the birth of rock and roll, which was really 51, when Ike Turner and Rocket 88... <laughs> Modern is smart and designed black convertible top and the gals don't mind. Really, it was like mid 50s when people got to know that. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. From then, you had the Beatles, the British invasion of the States and all that. That was in the early 60s, 1963. That was less than 10 years. Then you had the California hippy dippy. Chasing psychedelic era that was 68 69 that was about five years after Beatlemania and then you had punk which was like less than 10 years after that so all that happened in a very short time and that's it not even mentioning pub rock and stuff like that since then which is like a long time ago 76 to now is ooh, going up for 50 years what's happened since yeah the odd thing you've had like the pogsy thing the irish the, i'm talking about britain now because obviously we had lots of things here that happened uh, which you might not have seen in the united states or canada or indeed the rest of the universe we are very lucky here that we had all these things especially in London because we were spoiled for choice so going back a bit you had rock and roll which was also lively it was like rebellious it was going against what had been before and that really what punk was all about punk was nurtured and came out of pub rock Without pub rock, it's doubtful whether there would have been punk, in my opinion. It started about 71, 72. So that was a reaction against the big stadium bands. So what's the answer? Pub rock. And London was ideally situated for this because there had a lot of music venues that are, well, that have always existed, that used to put on Irish music, or used to put on Cockney sort of stuff, sing-alongs and music hall things. So they had these stages in the pubs, a lot of them. And so when Dave Robinson and people of his ilk came along and said, put on some bands. It just happened in early 70s. Well, that damn punk came along, there was lots happening. And of course, a lot of the pub rock bands like Dr. Feelgood from Canvey, Eddie and the Hot Rods, South End Canvey, bands like that had already set the scene. But it goes back further than that. There were a lot of influences from the state. There was little Richard, if you go back that far, he was wild and rebellious. Plus people like Johnny Cash and Screaming Jay Hawkins, all kinds of rebellious role models for the late to punks. Back in the 1960s in the States there were bands like the Sonic. You won't get far. She gonna make you live. Cause she's no witch. It's an MC5. The Stooges. She got a TV out Oh, here we had Screamy Lord Such, which may sound a bit weird, but he went against the norm. Like, for example, his hair was 15 inches long in the very early 60s, which was against everything that anyway did. Even the thing about the Teddy Boys, the modern rockers, and all the other strange tribes. It was just a constantly evolving scene, and punk just happened to be next when 75 came along. And don't forget, bands like The Clash had had their roots in the pub rock band The 101ers, which featured Joe Strummer. The Stranglers came from Guildford, and they were playing in pubs, the jam. A lot of these bands who were 
punkin' new wave, the Boomtown Rats, people like that, they'd already, they were working on their style. So when punk came along, when Malcolm McLaren gave the Sex Pistols their style and their image, he was just drawing on things that already existed. So really, that's how punk came about and what the roots of punk were. So thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. And um, keep watching my videos, please. I appreciate your support. Thank you very much. Goodbye.